What's up guys? How's it going? Nate here. Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, obviously, I am at home right now. I'm actually in my bedroom currently, and that's because Kyleen is working in the office. Um, she's on a conference call, so we're all just doing our thing here at home. And I had a lot of ideas for videos um, recently, and I wanted to make a lot of these videos, and I was like, well, I'm at home now, you know? This is the perfect time to get some work done, get some content out on the channel, and when I was going through the topics I wanted to talk about, just nothing seemed very important uh, in comparison to what's been going on right now with the coronavirus and with what's happening. So I did want to make a video um, that was relevant to what's happening, but also staying positive during all of this. And I think that when we're at home uh, for long periods of time like this, one of the more important things is entertainment and making sure that you're doing things that not only entertain you, but make you happy, uh, and also that are healthy. And so today I wanted to talk about, more specifically, uh, video games. Video games have been incredibly helpful for me during these times when it comes to entertainment, escapism, and just overall generally being happy. So today I thought I'd talk to you about video games, the importance uh, they play in my life, but in other people's lives. Uh, I think that we don't actually realize how important video games are for people right now. Playing games online, uh, it's a really great way to communicate, interact with other people while staying at home. That's what I thought would be a good thing to talk about on a positive note of what we're doing here at home. So let's get into it. So I initially had this idea to make a video about video games when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out over a year ago. And I was really excited about that game and I sort of wanted to examine my excitement about video games and what role they played in my life. And then a lot of time passed and I never made the video and eventually I just thought it was too late to make it. But I want to revisit this topic because of how much video games have helped me, not only during this current crisis that we're in, but just overall generally in my life. So as long as I can remember, video games have been a main hobby in my life. And the first thing I can remember about video games was in second grade when I played E.T. on Atari. And although to this day, I'm pretty sure that is the worst game ever made, it still fascinated me as a kid. Uh, shortly after that, we got a Nintendo Entertainment System for our house, and that's when I truly got hooked. I was playing that all the time, and I was also starting to go to arcades really often as well. Might as well take this outside, get some fresh air. Don't worry in my complex, distancing myself. So one time, my brother and I get home from school, and there it is, right next to the television, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System. My brother and I freaked out. We had no idea what was going on, so we ran up to my mom and we were like, whose is this? And she's like, it's yours. And we said, it's not our birthdays. It's not even the holidays. Why, why, do, why do we have this now? And she's like, because I just knew it would make you guys happy. Shout out to my mom, by the way. That was the coolest thing ever like the most memorably coolest thing anyone's ever done. Needless to say, this perpetuated my brother and myself's love for video games even more. We still play video games together online. Flash forward a couple years later, my dad on the weekends would have the side job where he would go and cut down dead trees out of people's yards or tree removal, stump removal, things like that. And I would go and help him and he hired me to haul brush. So I would just take these huge bundles of brush and just drag them into the truck and lift them up. And the whole reason I was doing that this summer was so I could buy a Game Boy Color for myself. It had just come out, I couldn't believe it. A portable system, that's color. I was freaking out about it, so I worked my ass off all summer long. And the whole time I was just thinking, just keep working, Nate. You can do it. Pretty soon you're gonna be playing Wario World in color. And after it was all said and done with, I went out and I purchased that Game Boy Color with my own hard-earned money. And that whole scenario taught me work ethic. It taught me to work for what you want. And if you strive for it, you can achieve it. It was these small little lessons, but still, video games. All I wanted was video games. I remember this one instance, I was at my friend Sarah's house and we were just sitting in the living room patiently waiting for her dad to finish playing Zelda Ocarina of Time. I remember him saying, you guys can play the video game when I'm done with my game. I remember thinking, this isn't fair. Video games are for kids. Adults can't play video games. How wrong I was. 
I will always cherish the times when my buddies would just get together and sit in one of our basements of our houses and drink Mountain Dew, eat Doritos and pizza rolls, and we would play all of our favorite games. So here are the top games I played in high school. Number one, Cool Borders. Loved Cool Borders. Cool Borders one through three. Tony Hawk Pro Skater, obviously. Probably Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 is the best one in my opinion. Metal Gear Solid, quite possibly my favorite game of all time. Definitely in the top three. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. Thank goodness they're getting remakes right now. They're so great. And of course, the classic, the cult classic, Siphon Filter. So many memories. I'll never forget fighting my first Big Daddy in Bioshock. I'll never forget riding into Mexico in Red Dead Redemption 1. All of these amazing memories that I'll never forget all stem from video games. Video games have evolved into something that both kids and adults can enjoy. I think that they often get a really bad rap, uh, being called maybe unproductive or a waste of time, but I think that was never true to begin with. Video games are an escape, just like any other form of entertainment. It's socially acceptable to sit in front of the TV and watch a three hour long football game or sit and binge watch an entire series of television, but some people still think that it's a waste of time to spend a couple hours playing a video game and get lost into a story. And I just simply don't buy it. Video games are a mode to tell stories. They offer characters, they offer twists and turns and thrills and emotions. And if done well, they can evoke some of the most poignant emotions in a human being. And for me, I know that I've become attached to stories and characters that I'll remember forever that I experienced through the medium of video games. People need video games more than ever right now. And I truly believe that they can be a great coping mechanism during these difficult times that we're having with all this madness that's going on around us. So. If you've never tried playing video games or if you're not very familiar, there is something out there for everybody. So go ahead, pick up a controller and hit that power button and have a little bit of fun. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy and staying home and following the precautions and hopefully keeping yourself entertained in one way or another. Uh, I wanna know about all the video games you are playing right now though, if you are playing. And I also wanna know what are your favorite video games? Let's start a little comment section discussion going on down there. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you wanna show a little support for the channel, I'd love for you to hit that like button and subscribe. Of course, every little bit helps. I do appreciate everything guys. I really hope you're staying safe out there and I hope all of this passes by as quickly as possible. And I will see you in the near future.